What's up everybody, this is KG. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on two products. The first one is the Perfect Pull-Up. You can see above my head here, this is the Perfect Pull-Up installed in my bedroom. And right next to it, hanging on side, you can see this thing over here. This is called a Chin-Up Assist. I will also be doing a review on the Chin-Up Assist. So stick around to learn more about both products. So this is the box the Perfect Pull-Up came in. On the front it tells you some of the items that come with it. It also comes with some rotating handles and some ab straps. So I'll show you all those in a minute. Also just wanted to show you the back side of the box. It shows you some exercises being done on there as well. So these here are the rotating handles that come with it. They go on the chin up bar and you can do chin ups using this. And it twists and turns so it allows you to do different styles of chin ups. So let me put it up there just to show you. It will hook on top just like this, right? And when you hang on it, you can twist different directions. So it lets you use it in different ways. And when you chin up, you can twist on your way up, on your way down. So it allows you to do different styles of chin ups. The other product that comes with it is called Abstracts. And ab straps are really to hang on the chin up bar. You'd have to take the chin up bar off, hang it on there, and then you can put your arms in here afterwards. And you can basically have these inside the chin up bar and you'd be hanging on here with your elbows in here. And you can do some ab exercises with it. So you can do knee raises or whatever you need to do. I typically don't use it. I've never really used it. I usually just hang straight off the bar and do my ab exercises straight with my hands. So I'll just hold on to the top, hang up, and then lift my knees if I need to. So I do my own types of ab exercises without it. But it is something that comes with the package. So the perfect pull-up comes with an installation guide. It's actually meant to go in between your door frame, between a 27 inch and a 36 inch door frame. I myself didn't put it in a door frame, I put it in a part of my bedroom which is about 36 inches wide. So I, I'm within the limit of the range of what it's supposed to be, but I didn't put it in the door frame. Also in here it gives you the max weight which is about 300 pounds is the max you should be doing chin ups on that particular bar. And when I flip over the paper to the other side it gives you further instructions on how to install it. And you also get an installation template you can use to put your screws in the right location. Okay, so I'm bringing you close to one side of the installation I did. You can see there's two pieces that go on here. This is what you call your J bracket. And then you have another one here which is called a side pivot. So you got to do one on one side. And then you got to do it again on the other side. So you got one up there, one down here. And again, let me put this against the wall. This is kind of what we use to figure out exactly where to drill the holes. So I use this little measurement tool, put it here, and used it to drill the holes and put it in the right location. So it's pretty easy to put together. And you gotta do it on both sides. And then after that, you can put your chin up bar up. Now in my case, I didn't put it in a door frame. I actually put it on a separate wall here, a corner wall, this is like a C channel here, which is a metal channel. So on this side, when I did the installation, it's always been good, it's never come apart, it's never moved. But on this side here, it's a corner wall. And it's a corner bead over here. So this is a corner bead. And to be honest with you, over the years, I probably broke this off maybe three or four times over the years. And I've had to build it back a couple of times uh, remud it, refinish it, and then the last time I did it, maybe the fourth time, ever since then is never broken again. So I wouldn't really suggest you trying to do it the way I did it, unless you're ready to take a chance, I guess you can say. But it should be going in a door frame typically, and that's the proper way to install it. But in my case, like I said, I put wood chips and I put some sheetrock. I also put some weight plugs in there over time and finally it seemed to be strong enough not to break again. So this is my finished installation of those four pieces. Now this here is the actual chin up bar and this you have to put together you have your main piece here and two end pieces that move out and in as you need it depending on how wide your door is 
and then you tighten it up on these metal sections over here you have a little tightening mechanism you can tighten both sides of course I did this long time ago to fit my wall so it's already set in place and then you will see here this is where you put it into the wall you can put it in this little round peg over here on both sides and put it in and then you can set up your chin up bar so I'll do that right now so if I move back here right here and here boom boom down so it's in the lower section here and then I can slide it up in that J mold up top and then put it into place and now it's snug and tight so it's meant to be used as a chin up bar up here but there's also exercises you can do on the lower section as well so you can put it this way you can do exercise before you can do chin ups maybe you just want to get used to pulling yourself up and down you can do it this way as well so you can do it low down here and as you build up strength you can slowly get to the top and do proper chin ups afterwards so let me put it back up pop it in here and there and then when you're ready to do a real chin up you hang off of here and pull yourself up and then you got yourself a proper chin up set up now the next item I wanted to show you is what is called a chin up assist this is to help you do chin ups and bring your weight down lower so it's easier to do a chin up so if you're not strong enough to do chin ups at your full weight yet this thing can definitely help you with that also it can help you when you're fatiguing to be able to do more chin ups so this is a good product to have alongside any chin up bar now I'll bring it in close you can see this is the part that will hook onto the bar itself and then you can see there's a strap here and you have your three little pulley straps here these are like tension bars that help make you lighter so I have three of them installed here right now you can actually take them out one by one if you want to the less you have on here the heavier you end up being the more you have on here the lighter it makes you and then of course there's the bottom here this is where you would put your foot and this is where it helps you become lighter when you're doing a chin up so I will put it on and then demonstrate it for you okay so I'm going to take it over there now so you try to find the middle snap it on right so you have it on here and this is where your leg would go down here so let's just do a demo so for example I do a number of chin ups and say this is the last one I can do without having to use it so I do my final chin up and then it's too after this say it's too hard for me to do more chin ups then I would just put my foot into here okay and use that as leverage then come back up here again bring it down and then I can do chin ups quite easily like this for me it makes it a lot easier right now so it makes you be able to do chin ups with ease or easier and that's what the chin up assist does so it just makes you lighter and lets you get in more reps and you can get stronger quicker that way and when you're done just take your foot out and you're good so a chin up assist is really good I always use it to help me get extra reps in my workouts it keeps me in good shape keeps me healthy I think chin ups are a good part of a healthy workout I've been doing P90X workouts over the years and when you do P90X workouts you always need to be able to do chin ups in those workouts so that's the main reason I originally bought it and it's been it's been good for me I've had it for over 10 years it's done well for me like I told you because I didn't install it the way the manufacturer said to do it it did break on me a few times but I'm a little bit of a handy guy so I can fix it back myself and figure it out and as you can see I'm already getting a little bit of a workout my breath is a little bit going right now but that's good fitness is always good so again I'll demo one more time with these hooks here I can do it in this direction come up like this I can even do leg lifts I can do different types of exercises and it's all good with this machine here oh. when I say machine I mean the chin up bar there's also like a little workout package that comes with it 
It gives you instructions. Now I don't typically follow all of these things, but it does come with the package. You could follow those or you could do your own workouts. Now the other reason I set it up in this area is because I get the full 36 inches. So I could do close chin ups and I can also do a wide grip chin up if I want here. So this allows me flexibility in my distances, close grip, wide grip, medium grip, whatever I feel like doing I have flexibility to do it. And like I said I like this perfect chin up product because it gives me some flexibility. You can do chin ups and you can also do things that help you work up to chin ups. So you have, like I was mentioning before, the lower section. So if you're not ready for full chin ups yet, you can still do things down on the lower section. So you can still get a workout this way as well. And this is actually quite good. Even when you do your regular chin ups, you can finish off down here and you get some extra reps in here. And this works your back a little bit differently as well. So you get a different angle on it. It's pretty good. So that is my review on the Perfect Pull Up and on the Chin Up Assist. Both of these products are great. They're good for working out at home. They've served me well over the years. And I would definitely recommend both of them if you're looking for a way to do chin ups in your home. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so and remember to hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. If you enjoyed this review, definitely give me a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Take care and we'll see you guys again next time. Peace out.